all, today I'm here with a new video and today it's time for my get ready with me slash favorites for the month and I'm going to do my August favorites because it is the end of August and I know it didn't came any in July because in July I like didn't wear any makeup at all and um, it was it was a rough month and now it is the end of August and in August I have actually used a lot of makeup because I have been off work for three and a half weeks, like my summer leave and I have played with a lot of makeup. So I'm going to use my monthly favorites, do it right with me and tell you a little bit about the products. So yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start with eyeshadow. I've already primed my eyes, but I've really been loving the Sweet Shop palettes from BH Cosmetics this month. So I was thinking to do a palette bingo with these. And I have five. So I have Sherry on top, Orange Sorbet, Cotton Candy, Bubblegum, and Pistachio. So I'm going to take one shade from each of the palettes and do a makeup look. So I have random.org, org, random.org, org, now I can't stop saying that, random.org. So see it's eight in each of the palettes. So just, just, bleh. I just do it. And I'm going to take the palettes in the order that I <laughs> show them. So first up we have a number three, number six, number three again. And can you see? Now it doesn't matter if it's the same number because it's different palettes. Number three again. Okay, this is going to be hard because number three in all of the palettes are shimmers. And number three. Okay, so I'm going to have one matte. So we start with the sherry on top. I have number three, which is Maracino. And I'm going to swatch this color story. And then in orange sorbet, I got number six, which is Cest this orange. That is going to be the only matte that I will have. So in Cotton Candy, we have number three as well, which is Swirl. Okay, I'm going to swatch these for you and also for me because I have to try to figure this out. And in Bubblegum, it is Sweet Tooth. This shade is amazing. I really loved it in the look I did. And with Pistachio. It is treat. <laughs> How can it be like this? I'm getting flashbacks from uh, my collab <laughs> with Annette and Debbie when we did a palette bingo with or a face off with the magic palette from US Place. So okay, this is my color story and thankfully these shimmer shades are easy to work with like I can blend them and stuff like that so I am going to try to figure this out okay I'm just going to take the easy way out of this so I will start with orange sorbet where I had the matte one which is assessed and take it in my crease and I am going to try to not make this video so long because I have done a lot of longer videos, the latest. And I, for myself, I love long videos. It's like my favorite. I love when I see that someone has a video that's like 40 minutes long. I just love it. But <laughs> maybe not all do. So, if you don't like longer videos, I am so sorry. Because I have done a get ready with me. I, it hasn't come up yet. I'm going to try to have this up first. And maybe it's going to be two get ready with me's on the same week. Okay, I really like this shade. 
but like how can they be the only matte shade I got? And I'm so happy that you seem to like. I think I only have done one of these. I like can't remember anymore. And you seem to like that and it makes me happy because I'm always nervous when I put up like get ready with me videos. I like to film them. I hate to edit them. And I don't know. It doesn't feel like I'm any good at doing a get ready with me. The only thing that was easy or the only thing that was good with this this palette bingo is it's easy to remember which shade I'm going to use because I got three in all of the palettes except for this one and that is done. And now I just realize my brushes are not cleaned. I usually spray clean them with like this alcohol spray. It works good, but you have to let them dry for a little while and I do not have time for that right now. So I'm going in with the bubblegum palette where I got Sweet Tooth this and I'm going to take it like out here. So it's going to be an all shimmer lid. <laughs> These shadows are just amazing. I I did talk about this in the video I did with these palettes. I have never tried Beach Cosmetics eyeshadows before. I have some brushes that I really love. The brush I used in my crease is from Beach Cosmetics. I really love it. And I am so happily surprised about these palettes. But it doesn't seem like BH normally do this kind of good palettes. But these are just amazing. It was so fun to do my five palettes, five looks video with all these five palettes. It was a pain in the ass to edit it because it's normally when I do I I edit kind of fast and then I watch it one time just to see that everything is okay and I didn't forget to cut something out and when you do a video that is over an hour But I edited it in pieces, so I did I did film one of the looks and then I edited it right away because I was like I'm never going to sit down and edit for that long in one setting. And then I'm going in with these two. I don't know which one I should take first. Okay, I need to swatch them once more. Okay, I'm going in with uh, cotton candy. So I'm going in with swirl. And another thing that I have finally done that I have been thinking about for like a year or something I bought an extra battery for my camera I often I have done like this I record a video and when I'm done I just want to get out of here because it is or it has been now in summer so hot to sit and record and also I when I'm done, I'm done and sometimes the battery is almost dead, but I'm like, okay, I'm going to put it, I'm going to charge it later. Do you think later ever comes? No. So the next time I'm going to record, I sit down, I take everything, I take everything out, I do the setup and everything and I start camera and it's like 
very low. And then I have to wait for the battery to be charged just a little bit, but it is really annoying. So for like a week ago or something, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do it. I buy another battery. I know that it's a big chance that I'm going to have two batteries with no power in them. Um, yeah. But now actually both are fully loaded, so that feels good. And I also bought another memory card. I haven't had that problem that much with my memory card being full and have no time to emptying emptying it to make space <laughs> what up with my English today but I was like I am planning on doing um, or I'm going to do a palette collection video and I know that it is going to be a long video because I'm going to show you all my palettes so I was like okay I'm doing this and also like you can never have too many memory cards and I am so much thinking about buying a ring light I I guess I don't need it, but I don't know. I have been thinking about getting a ring light for a really, really, really long time. But it's just that they're pretty expensive and I want a good ring light. Okay, I think this is kind of good actually. And now I'm going in with the Sherry on Top palette and take Maracino. I want to speak Italian, Maracino. And can I speak Italian? No, I cannot. So I hope this will look good. I guess it will because... This is a really good shade, so yeah. But with my palette collection video that I'm going to record... I like always have one palette on the way. Now I actually have two on the way. And then I'm just, okay, I'm going to wait until all of them have arrived. But if I go into things like that, maybe I always have like one in the loop so I can never record a video. But I'm thinking like, okay, I'm going to wait for these two, maybe. One of them should come on Monday. It's Saturday today. And the other one, I have no idea when it's going to come. So yeah, that is like what I'm waiting for <laughs> with my palette collection video. And I am thinking about to show all the palettes like taking brand in alphabetic order. So I start with my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and then... But like a part of me doesn't want to know how many palettes I have because I haven't counted them in a really, really long time. But I have really been liking to watch decluttering videos and also collection videos. And I haven't... I don't think I ever have done a palette collection video actually. And that is actually kind of strange because I love eyeshadows. Okay, I think I am done with the lids like this. So I have a crazy amount of fallouts as normal. I'm going to take the, the fallout away. And then we're going into the base. And I have some new base products that I've really, really been loving. One that I have rediscovered. And then I actually have some favorite other eye products. So I will just take the fallouts away and come back. Time for the base, and we're going to start with a primer that I've really been liking. This is from a Swedish brand called Kix. It is our like base beauty store in Sweden, and this is the skin. <laughs> this is the skin protecting primer, and this helps protect skin from blue light and pollution. 
I don't know if I really trust that, but <laughs> why I like this, it's because it is a little bit cooling and also it is really moisturizing and if you know me, I have dry skin and I have pink eyeshadow on my finger that I don't want in my face. And I, the foundation that I have been really liking now in August, I really had to find a primer that worked good with that because I felt it was a little bit drying to my skin foundation or yeah, it felt a little bit dry so I tried this and I really start to like them together because I've been using my serum foundation from The Ordinary for a real long time and then I just use uh, a primer spray so okay I'm just going to let this sink into my skin a little bit so to my foundation that I'm really liking it's the Stay Naked from Urban Decay I have this in the color 10 and N is it that way maybe and I really really have been liking this my friend Angelica Lidemar, she has this as a favorite foundation and uh, I trusted her and bought this and I love it. So I'm going to use this together with the Kaleidos sponge. I have been really really liking this sponge. It felt like not a lot of people really liked it, but I do. I've only tested this purple lilac-y thingy-lingy. They also have green with a little other shape to it, but this one I've been really liking. And what I like about this foundation, first of all, it is kind of good with my, it kind of good shade match. And it is not matte, but it's not luminous. And it is not full coverage. I just have been really, really liking it. And I am just <laughs> so happy. If you didn't notice, okay, it's hard for you if you don't have been living in Sweden. I have always had such big troubles to find a good foundation match. And... Like I had one from before I went cruelty free. I had a foundation that I really loved from NARS. The Sheer Glow Foundation, I think it's called. And I had the lightest shade, which is Siberia. Or is it? The lightest shade at least. And I first bought it from... look fantastic I think it was but then Sephora came to Sweden and they were the only ones that could sell NARS in Sweden so then I couldn't order it from look fantastic anymore and Sephora Sweden didn't take in the lightest shade and it has often before it was often like that with Sweden um, they never took in the lightest foundations, so I think it has for a long time been foundations from normal brands that is light enough for me. But the problem has been that Sweden haven't had those lightest colors in stores or online. And I have never understand why, because... Why not? But now it's... There exists... It usually is like this. I was thinking about buying the Anastasia foundation. And uh, I need the lightest shade. And uh, my store, here where I live, they didn't go that light with shades. And I, I don't understand. It has always been like that. <laughs> like when I have... Wanted a foundation, 
maybe say a couple of years ago, the lightest shade was never in Sweden. But then when I looked <laughs> at like Sephora from the US, there was one or two shades lighter than it was in Sweden, and I, yeah, I just don't get it. Okay, <laughs> enough ramble about that. Pale girl problem. Next up, uh, I have a new favorite concealer. This is from Body Shop. This is the Fresh Nude Serum Concealer, I think it is. This is in light, and this is actually a l It's not too dark, but my powder I use lightens it up a little bit, which is good. I haven't had this for a long time at all, but I really like it. It's a really like super light foundation, foundation, concealer. It feels really good. It doesn't cover like that much, not like a full coverage concealer, but I am not about that full coverage life and it gives a little bit of shine and I just really like it. I haven't used it that much but maybe five or six times because I bought it like two weeks ago but as for right now I have been liking it so 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 much. I'm also just going to set my face with my favorite powder. I have had this in favorite before, so it's still a favorite, but not like typical for August. And it is Nabla's Close Up Smoothening Pressed Powder. And I think this is going to be like the first pressed powder that I had pan in. So let's go over to, to get some light. To get some contour to this face. I'm going to use like contour. I have these three shades for contour and then I have um, two sticks and contour is like not my thing at all so it's nothing special. Just use whatever. I'm going to use one from NYX today. I don't know how I can't have it pan in this yet. I have been using this so so much. I think like I can have the most non-showing contour like ever but I just want something. So okay for my blush I have gone back to a super favorite that I have had before. It is Down Boy from The Balm. I start to use this now in August again more and I I just really really love it. I want to try more blushes from the balm. But the balm, I don't know how it is in other countries, but in Sweden they are pretty expensive. And this I got from a friend when we did a beauty swap. It was a long time ago. It was in Swedish. But that is something I would love to do. A beauty swap with someone. It would be so, so fun. So something like this. I This, I, I, I don't know. I, I can really see my blush. I don't know if you can, but I can really do. Okay, now I'm going into highlighter and I've been loving this one together with this brush. This is Nabla's highlighting brush. Smooth. <laughs> this is Nabla highlighter brush and this is the Ozone Skin Glazing Highlighter. When I first got this brush, I was like, I don't like it, but I just think I need to get like used to the shape because it has like a different shape. It's more like rounded, more round than I usually use for my highlighter. Not bad. It works really good at this ozone. Oh, 
I think this starts to become my all-time favorite highlight. Before it was Baby Glow from Nabla. I still really love that one. But I think this is taking over. So I'm going to put on my eyebrows off cam because I don't have any new favorite eyebrow products. I'm going to spray my face with a setting spray and then I come back and we're going to, we going to, I am going to put treat on my lower lash. So time for eyebrows. Eyebrows are on. And I have one thing that is not a favorite this month. I <laughs> have had a eyebrow gel from NYX. Astrid did break it. She played with it fell on the floor and broke in two. Yeah. Okay, so for my lower lash I'm going in with pistachio and treat and I'm going to take it on my whole lower lash. And when I did take off the fallout, I tried to do like a sharp edge here with the, the dark shade. Can't remember the name. It's because I really want this shade from pistachio to show so treat it is and I'm going to tap it off I don't know because I don't want any fallouts okay so I'm going to try to go in with a smaller like pencil brush this is from BH Cosmetics just see if I can get like it out of here Yes, I can. For my waterline, wall wall <laughs> from my waterline, I'm going to go in with another favorite. I bought some of the Vivid Brights eyeliner from NYX. I have been really, really, really liking those. I think I'm going to use this shade today. This is Snatched. And then the last favorite for my eyes is a new mascara that I've been really been liking. This is You Better Work from Essence. This is so so cheap. It's like the cheapest mascara I have ever tried. Or inexpensive mascara. Most inexpensive. Uh, whatever. Paulina, she raves about this and I know some other of my friends really really been loving this. So I wanted to try it so I bought it before the summer I think and I start to use it now and I really really love it. It stays on so so good and I really like this rubbery brush. And okay, I for, for lips, I don't think I've had any shade that I've been really been loving. I can always check my Instagram because I post all my looks to Instagram and it's easy to see if I have used like one lipstick a lot. I still love my Unspoken from Nabla. It is still like one of my absolute favorite lipsticks. But I thought I was going to use another lip that I don't know. I think I got this in July. So I haven't been talking about it in a favorite video. But it is from Lunar Beauty. And this is Witch Bitch. It's the red one of course. And the packaging. I really like it. I... I like that it fades from black and down to red, that is the color of the lipstick. And also in the cap, it is like a diamond. I really really like it. And the wand, it, it is kind of big, but it is shaped in a really good way. And you know me, I love red, so does this go? super amazing to the eyes probably not but you know me red is my favorite and i think i really really like about this it's i like my <laughs> i like matte lipsticks liquid lipsticks but I don't want them to be matte like from the beginning like lime crimes they are really really dry when you put them on this is not it dries down that is my favorite and also I think it's because of the big doe foot this was just like one swoop I don't need to 
take up more colors. Usually when I use my Nabla lipstick, I can do my bottom lip and half of my upper lip and then I have to dip in once more and do the rest. With this one, this is just one application and I really love it and the color is amazing. Planning on doing my favorite red liquid lipsticks and I was like, I have done a fi my top five. I don't think it's even possible to just pick five. No. But I really, really love this one. And I have been thinking about testing one of the glosses from Lunar Beauty. I haven't done it. I don't know if I will, but this really been loving it. So that's maybe all for this Get Red With Me. I don't know what this was for kind of video. I don't know how long it is. I don't know if it was fun to watch, if it was fun to listen to or not, but this was my monthly Get Ready With Me favorites for August. I love to play with these palettes from BH. I really like the look, even though it would have been fun to maybe get one more matte, but this works really good and I love that the shimmers, I can blend them, I can blend them into my crease, they are easy to have under my eyes as well. Really love that when it comes to shimmers and the foundation from Urban Decay, love it so much and it actually holds up really good on me. Uh, not on my nose, but like nothing due, but the rest it's really good. I have had it on for some really, really hot summer days and it stayed on. And with this one or my sunscreen as primer, amazing. So yeah, that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it and please tell me some of your favorites that you have had during August and I hope that you want me to continue with these get ready with me is favorite videos. Maybe if I can, I don't know. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!